Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna come and do a quick little wash day routine video. Um, so I just woke up. That's kind of why a couple of these are sticking out because I didn't want wrap my hair. I don't always wrap my hair, especially when it's getting a little closer to wash day. I just kind of let it be because I'm about to wash it anyway. Um, so, so yeah, my wash day is pretty simple. I usually wash my hair when I'm off so that I can let it air dry. I've never sat under the dryer with my locks. They always air dry. Um, so it's going to be a nice day today. So I'll be good with washing it and going outside. So this is a before of what they look like before I wash them. I took my rubber bands out. They've been out for a little bit now. So I'll give you a look as to what they look like beforehand. And then the ones that I kept my rubber bands on, like this one, I kept the rubber band on. This guy. And so I'm gonna leave those rubber bands on while I wash it. They're not gonna slide off, it'll be alright. Um, but yeah, that's the before, and this is what I wash my hair with. My one dollar holla, my tried and true. Miss V05, uh, it's pretty much been the only thing I've been washing my hair with since I've been locked. Since, like I said, a lot of other shampoos that I noticed for natural hair have a lot of detangling agents in it. So it's meant to make the natural wash day a lot easier so that girls with the natural hair can comb through it a lot easier. But I don't need to comb through my hair easier. I don't need it to be softer. I don't need it to be detangled. Um, I feel like this kind of helped my hair lock a lot faster too on wash days because this will really mat my hair up and it is a clarifying shampoo if anybody's on the market for a clarifying shampoo your local dollar tree has it um so yeah that's pretty much it i'm about to wash it i'll show y'all the after and i'll be back all right y'all so i'm back wash day is complete I want to say it took me about maybe 30 minutes to wash my hair. I always wash my hair in the shower. It's just easier. I tried washing it in the sink when I was like still locking uh, and it was just, it was just a hassle. So I washed my hair and uh, one thing that I've come to learn when I wash my hair is how to check when it's clean. Because a lot of people really can't tell when their hair is clean or not. And I see a lot of videos about that. So what I do when I check to make sure my hair is clean, I just squeeze one of my locks. Well, I squeeze a couple of them in different locations. And then if I can rub my fingers and I don't feel any residue, then I know it's clean. So I typically go through about three washes. The first wash when I put the shampoo on. It's like just kind of dull. It's just kind of waking the hair up a little bit, introducing the soap to the hair. The second wash, it really starts like, okay, picking up some dirt and stuff. And the third wash is like, I know it's, I know it's good. Um, I tend to wash my hair in sections too. So I might wash this section first for like five, ten minutes. Wash this section later for like five, ten minutes. And then I wash my back. And uh, maybe on my third wash, then I just kind of wash it all together. So like I told y'all, I kept my rubber bands on. And uh, I hope y'all can see this. But the rubber bands didn't move. At least they moved a little bit. They moved a little bit. What's this other one? I can't find it. Anywho, they didn't really move that much. Um, so this is what it looks like after I wash it. So my problem locks when I do wash my hair is my back two locks because I'm noticing as they get longer, um, they'll rub against my neck just like throughout the day when I'm working or just, you know, just throughout the day. So dirt and oil that like naturally build up around my neck from sweat or whatever, they rub off on my locks. So these two locks, because I only got two locks in the back. 
these two locks tend to be the hardest to wash and I do I have noticed before I will see build up in those so I try to pay a little bit more attention to those when I also wash my hair after I'm done washing like the final wash when I let my hair rinse I let it rinse for like 10-15 minutes just water just running through my hair just so it can just rinse out anything that maybe I can't see and then also too I'll, I'll let it really run I'll kind of like hold my head down under the faucet so that the back can wash because when you wash your hair in the shower all the soap tends to sometimes just wash back so these will rinse out a lot faster than this so all that dirt and stuff that you were washing it you always push it back or at least i do so i always pay a little bit more attention towards my back locks um after i wash them <laughs> so this week i'm not gonna do any retwists i'm probably not gonna do no rubber bands i'm just gonna let it be so after i wash my hair i don't condition my hair conditioners tend to be heavy locks are already heavy so i don't want to add anything else to it to weigh it down and i feel like when your locks don't have this much stuff in them there's more more room for them to breathe and grow freely and that's what i want my hair to do i just want it to grow freely and not have to be clogged up with conditioners and this and that so i use my vo5 shampoo and then I always hit my scalp with my little oil blend, uh, if y'all not familiar with it. It is castor oil, manure oil, argan oil, and flaxseed oil with a couple sprinkles of tea tree oil in there too. So I just mix them all together and pour them in this big bottle. I do my scalp and then to moisturize my actual locks, like the shaft of my locks, I use this argan oil. I use this argan oil, this cream of nature one. Um, I used to use this when I was a loose natural, and I've been using this since I've been locked. I've had this bottle for like a year. <laughs> I've had this bottle for a very long time because I only use a little bit. So this is what I used um, to moisturize my sh shaft. I did try this one product because I'm all for bargains, and when I was at the dollar store getting my shampoo, I saw Family Dollar had this new line of like organic hair care products and this one by the brand True, it has like legit all natural ingredients. So it's, um, I'm going to run it off real quick, water, coconut oil, soybean oil, uh, glycerin, shea butter, mango butter, honey. I tried this. It got a couple other things in there that's kind of like lump, but it's no parabens, it's vegan, team vegan. So this worked okay. I just noticed just now when I washed my hair, it was a little harder to wash out because it has a, a thicker consistency than what I prefer to deal with. Um, but it was cool. If I use it again, I'll just dilute it and use a lot less of it. So, so yeah, that's my wash day routine. I'm going to squeeze a little bit. A little bit more water out. It's time for me to re up. My stash getting low. And that's all I use for my hair, for my entire head. Honestly, that looked like a little bit too much. So that's all I use for my entire head of my argan oil butter. I like this because um, it's like they already diluted it for you. You see, it, it's kind of runny, so it's not as hard to wash out as the other one. So that's all I use, and I just hit it. So I hit that. Come back with my oil. And I don't go heavy on the oil either because my oil blend is real thick. And I just wash my hair, so I kind of want my hair to, my roots to just have the ability to breathe a little bit. I don't want to suffocate them with oil. A lot of time people, you can't suffocate your scalp and it will prevent your hair from growing the way it is intended to grow or wants to grow um my last tip would just be i would say especially for newbies 
just do you. You know, a lot of people tell you, oh, it's too soon. You can't wash your hair. You can't wash your hair. Just just listen to what your body is telling you. Your, your body is, is your hair. So your body will kind of give you clues when it's time to wash your hair, when it's time to just let it rest. You know, if you flaking and itching and scratching, it might be time to put some water and some soap on that. If you got to use a stocking cap or put rubber bands around them to keep them from coming apart, just do whatever you feel you need to do that's best for your hair, especially when it comes to washing your hair. Healthy hair always grows from a clean scalp. All that buildup, all these thousands of products, it's just not necessary. Locks are supposed to be free, low maintenance, like just... Just let it be free. There are no rules or regulations. There is no lock handbook, no lock tissue that can tell you what's best for your hair because everybody is different. So that's that's me and my wash day and my products. So yeah, my VO5, my Argan oil, my little homemade oil blend, and I'm gone. I'm finna let nature dry me up no retwist i'm cooling all right enjoy y'all day